This is exactly one of the stands that we felt very confident in when we put the stand up in August. 20 foot ladder stand, butterflies. Once you get up in there, you can kind of see what you're looking at, man. It's gorgeous. This spot has always been good. We've always wanted to stand right here, but we finally got one here in August. And we cut lanes in here with a chainsaw and really just beat it up everywhere you look. There's scrapes. We got a really good tin and a lot of nice eight pointers been showing up. I pulled the card from the bush nail down there and just kind of scrolling through it. That tin looks like the biggest deer, but man, he's nice. First night getting a rut hunt kicked off here in Kansas at the Hooray. My buddy Eric Dunn's in the stand. T-Bone's in the stand. Nick will be here tonight. My favorite week of the year for sure. It's that big eight. It's that big overture eight. That's a pretty nice turn buck, big mature deer. Eight pointer. He's talking those does. And what's funny is, is he's walking right toward, right up to that old farmhouse that we parked by which goes to show a lot of times here in the Midwest, you think you gotta get deep in the middle of something, but you can be right here by these old decrepit farm equipment, farmhouses. A lot of times you can get up on the roof and probably shoot a monster. So don't think you gotta go all out in the middle of something. Hunt the edges, get something you can hunt and get to pretty simple and easy. I think that's the trick. So you don't blow deer all out of the core of the property. That's just, that's just what I've seen. It works pretty good. Find the cedar. It's a ten point. Yeah, right here. Pretty cool. Right here. See him? Not through the tops of the trees. I don't yet. He's straight there. That door is straight. On the edge of the cedar. Oh, across? Yeah. Oh, okay. Walking left. Okay. Coming our way. Oh, yeah, I see him. Just walk behind that green tree. There's two deer, I think.
it's out in Kansas. Going down. He's down. Unbelievable. He's down. Lights out in Kansas. Lights out in Kansas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious? Oh goodness. This has been unbelievable. That buck we caught him cruising. And I'm telling you right now, he was bristled up. We caught him cruising down through here. And I saw him, he went on past us. They've eaten up all the big and J. Breck had putting them some out. That, look, out on the card, it was the 31st. So Halloween, he fed them up good. <laughs> and, and man, this buck from cruising through. We saw a nice eight pointer did the same thing. This buck come cruising through. Boy, we hit him with the little, little love muscle, son. And let me tell you something. We just cooked him, son. We cooked him. I couldn't lay off of him. That's a mid 160s, probably. He might be better than that. He could be 170, but he's a huge, mature, big 10-pointer. He was the target buck for this particular stand that Nick and I hung in August. Thank you, Eric Dunn. Thank you, Hooray. I guess I'll be the man who skins out the bucks the rest of the week. But oh, what he's done. First afternoon in Kansas. <laughs> good, good, good. That's a great, that's a big buck. I told you, that's him. That's that big 10. I had my tactic cam running too, dog. Did you really? Yeah, I, I told Oh my god, that's badass. Hell yeah, we're sleeping in the warm wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got this one too. We back in we black. We back in black, baby. <laughs> Good eyes, I didn't see him. Well, was, he, he must have come out of the grass. I was just talking to you and I looked and I first saw him right right across the top of the region walking the, the edge. I, I couldn't hear you. I don't have my headphones with me. Uh -huh. I couldn't tell if you could see him or not. I could hear you talking about it. I didn't know if you could see him. You grow, I could just barely see his rack and you grow and I saw him move his head. And, and I, I snort with him. And I thought he was going to come out right here. And I, I did too. Back. And then you said, there he is. And I said, oh, oh shit. Yeah, I zoomed around. God, that's a beautiful hunt. Yeah, He's true. a big deer. He's big. I, saw, I got him going. Do you really? Yeah. Here, I knew he was wild when I knew I smoked yeah. him. Honestly, I'd like to go ahead and get down to the this dude, this dude. light. Let's do. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm nervous now. I'm telling you, the best time to kill a big deer, especially when you've been, like we done scouted this. You remember one last time they did that all the time, that one after morning. Hey, it paid off, didn't it, coming up here? <sighs> we, no, nothing. No, there ain't a, I've been trying to find a grain. Lights out in Kansas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you serious? Oh goodness. That's my first kill with red works. I mean outside of I mean first trophy animal unless unless you pig man. <laughs> I did kill some hogs and javelinas. Yeah, this is my first true trophy with the new Red Works Hoy, unless you're pig man, because I know he does a lot of pigs, but that's a big old Kansas whitetail. That's a, a giant. I cannot believe this happened so fast. It, I even went as far as Nick and I in August had chainsaws and we cut lanes, one here, one here. You can see, you can see the hole he come through where I cut the lane. But look at this, oh my. My, 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 you don't think that old deep dead meat. Look at that. Smell of victory right there. As Kip Campbell would say, red arrow. <laughs> oh my, what a huge body monster buck. Are you kidding me? Musky, stanky, massive, gorgeous. Gorgeous 10 pointer. All this trash. Look at the girth on this deer. <laughs> He's just a behemoth of a buck. Hot dog. We're gonna have a surprise with Nick and T-Bone when they come pulling in. We're gonna have a surprise. 